In today's Women's Care Wednesday, we welcome back Dr. Jennifer Gilby, who we're excited to chat with every day. And I love that you, you kind of shed light on these topics that maybe we've heard about. And this one in particular, we're talking about hormone replacement therapy. We've talked a little bit about it on the show. Maybe you've heard about it again, but who does it help? Let's, let's dive in and, and talk about the ideal people that might benefit from this. Women who benefit from hormone replacement therapy are women who obviously don't have their own natural mm -hmm. endogenous hormones anymore, um, either from needing a surgery where their ovaries are removed mm -hmm. or from just naturally going through menopause, which the average age is 51 and the range is 46 to 56. So women typically come to us with symptoms and it's the symptomatic woman that really needs hormone replacement therapy. <laughs> well, you know I've got to ask about those symptoms now. Right. So hot flashes, night sweats, insomnia, um, mood swings, foggy thinking, um, you know, it can affect uh, libido, it, it, you know, multitudes of um, different aspects of the body can be affected during menopause, but they come saying, I can't function. Yeah. Give me something. What's yeah. going to help me? Uh, and so you do, you know, we want to start uh, women soon after menopause and try to, you know, not start women after the age of 60. Um, they they're run just more risks um, in that. We do start them. They have to be counseled, you know, to understand the risks. I was going to say, and I think sometimes you do hear the risks. So let's talk about actually how the process works, how you're able to, to administer these hormones and what people need to keep in mind. So there's... Um, multitudes of uh, forms of hormone replacement therapy. There's patches and creams and sprays and gels and rings and pellets oh, okay. and pills. Um, and so we really talk to the patient about what's going to be best for you. What are you going to remember to do? What are you going to be comfortable doing? Um, and we try to tailor it for their for what their needs. Estrogen is the main component that relieves women of the majority of their symptoms. Mm -hmm. Progesterone is necessary component if they still have a uterus because it prevents um, thickening of the endometrium of the uterus and which can lead to endometrial cancer. And that's one of the things that sometimes you hear. So I like that you already have an answer to like sometimes people talk about those risks. Right. So the risks really run in the combination therapy. So estrogen progesterone in the studies has shown to have the increased risks. Estrogen alone does not have the same risks, yeah. um, which is interesting, but the risks are um, cardiovascular events. So stroke, blood clot, heart attack, uh, and there's an increased risk also of breast cancer, but it's 2.5 to three per thousand women that can be affected by that. So it, it is a small number. Um, and I'm glad you say it's a small number. And I really like how at Women's Care Florida, you do the education. You get to know these patients so that you can monitor. What's the feedback, though, after they start using some of these replacement hormones and maybe the symptoms decrease? You've got they, to hear that in oh, your office, absolutely. too. Absolutely. I mean, you know, I tell people, they're, they're like, well, what's going to help me the most? I said, the minute you take estrogen, <laughs> your symptoms will go away. It's not going to matter really what form you take. So believe me, you'll feel better almost immediately and they do they come back and they're so happy I mean they they do not stop coming for their hormones once they get relief and they feel better and back to their normal self they're much happier you know I think it seems like when women do get into that age group it's all something we're like am I gonna do it am I not gonna do it see how bad the symptoms are what do you hear from your patients most regarding this that you would like to educate other people out there about well I think that um, my my speech to my patients is your everyday quality of life is important and if you're not sleeping you can't think straight and you're irritable what quality of life is that and unfortunately we can't say how long those symptoms are going to last for them we yeah. don't know i mean yeah. they can go on and on and on for some people and they can be very short-lived for others so you know i just counsel them about the risks, counsel them about the benefits and try to encourage them to make a decision that's going to make them feel better and i tell them you know, even if you just do five years after menopause, that's really where the studies don't show much increased risk at all. And they get you through that, over that hump and into a place where you're not gonna have the symptoms and you can stop. And patients who come to me with no symptoms, I say, you know, I'm, you shouldn't start. You, yeah, don't, you yeah. don't have a reason to take it just because. I, well, maybe you have the symptoms or maybe you want to know more information. Again, I think education with this is just key. So I know it that is. you do that with your patients. Of course, you can contact Women's Care Florida. You can, of course, contact our wonderful Dr. Jennifer Gilby as well. There's the website. As always, we do appreciate your time today. Thank you for having me.